I love it. Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. My name is Pembe and I'm an illustrator. Today, um, this vlog is probably not going to be as long as the first one which I think was quite long but I personally adore long vlogs because I can put them in the background and it just inspires me if I can put it in that way and I just love you know just seeing the behind the scenes as long as possible especially if uh, there's a creator out there that I really enjoy watching I know that I'm still new here so I'm just trying to figure out the best content I could put out there for you as well as for myself so for today uh, I'm gonna review this chair right behind me which I got from eBay and just right off the bat let me just tell you guys this chair is lush I really love it it was very affordable I think it was about 40 pounds and I've put it together myself it was really easy and trust me this is coming from someone who finds it very difficult to set up something by themselves. It comes with a manual in the box and it took me about half an hour, half an hour, 45 minutes to put it together, which I'm going to show you as well in this vlog so you guys can see. The only thing I don't like about the chair is it's really... I mean it's good for your back because it keeps your back straight but you know how sometimes you just want to slouch back you don't have that option and I guess because it was for a fairly good you know cheap price um, we can't have everything there are options out there where you can obviously lean the the chair back this one doesn't give you that option it the other option it does give you is lifting up the the uh, armrests I think that's what they're called the armrests so you can lift it up so it will give you more office space and it, more flexibility I would say so yeah it's it's an amazing chair I'm gonna put the link below again I'm not monetized yet so this is definitely not an aff affiliate link it's just literally something I wanted to put out there for anyone who's looking to you know add uh, a more comfortable chair to their office and yeah i want to also thank you guys so so much when i put out my first vlog i've posted the video three days ago and in the three days i've gained so far 20 new subscribers and i just want to thank you guys so much it's to so many people out there it probably isn't that much but for me it's like i'm i'm imagining 20 people in this room with me that's a lot of people because I feel like in this generation we forget that we look at numbers as just numbers but those numbers are actually people so I'm very very grateful for whoever subscribed to my channel you okay there? yeah okay. <laughs> excuse me my son is just <laughs> next to me um, he's been a good boy so hopefully I can finish this vlog without any interruptions so as I was saying we forget that numbers are actually people and I am very very grateful for all of you who have subscribed and who are previous who are previous subscribers as well I really hope to grow this channel and show you guys my journey into you know launching my my new website with new products and just growing my channel and I really hope to connect with all of you if you have any suggestions like I did in the previous vlog someone mentioned uh, using gold uh, metallic thread to my notebooks and I was just thinking why didn't I think of that because that would just add an amazing touch and there was also someone else who suggested maybe changing the faces of the characters I've designed which is definitely something I'm hoping to do in the future for now I think I'm gonna go down this route with probably the same faces maybe different skin tones and different hairstyles for now as it's a bit easier for me to work on because for those who don't know 
I'm a new mum and it's really hard to juggle motherhood and you know running a small business and also working full time so it's a lot so I'm trying to make sure that I create products that are nice even though they may look a bit repetitive but they are not the same and um, hopefully in the future whilst I kind of have a balance I can integrate new or you know different characters with you know different ages races size and you know you, all of that so for now I'm gonna stick to this but thumbs up for the person who did suggest it to me. I really appreciate it, as I did mention in the comments. All your comments are highly appreciated, as long as they are respectful. That That's really what I wanted to say. Thank you all so much for subscribing. If you haven't yet subscribed, it will really help me to grow this channel. And for you to just be part of, you know, this community. So many things that I want to do, but you know when you... You have, um, um, what is that? Puss. Puh. When you, you feel like you're not good enough. And it was really hard to post that first vlog. It was really hard because I was just thinking about so many negative things. But thank goodness that the positive thoughts one and looking back at it now I'm just like wow thank you guys so much for all your lovely comments and the likes and the views it's really boosts my confidence and for those of you out there who are also thinking who who are also also thinking to go down this route please go for it because at the end of the day we only live once but if you do it right once is enough and I've quoted this quote in my previous video I love this quote and I go by this every day and that really motivates me so yeah I'm gonna stop here because little man is getting a bit annoyed <laughs>exciting post that has come through I think it's my office chair but I am not sure and I think it came early but let's find out together it's the chair absolutely amazing and just what I needed very inexpensive um, yeah it's cute I chose a pink color I love soft pink and the days of a bad back are finished
the post I mean came in the post I am super excited to open this up and I have kind of opened this one up already let me just show you so these are the corner protectors for the notebooks that I showed you in my previous vlog um yes i'm super excited to test these out but they look really good they look really good and my munbin munbine um thermal printer has come through the post 
I bought this one from eBay uh, second hand because I research and they they are quite pricey and in terms of budget I'm not there yet so I will be unboxing this so you guys can see I'm not sure what this is do you guys have that as well when you have purchased something online and then it comes through the post and you're like hmm what could this be uh, but yeah I will unbox this with you guys together so you can see what I got through the post I'm also uploading my first ever vlog so by the time we unpack these it'll probably be my second vlog hopefully fingers crossed but yeah we're moving we're moving no excuses so I did some testing with my old label also my old um, thermal printer and this is what I came up with I actually really like it so what I can do is I can definitely do some branding so if I'm packaging orders there's different ways I can package them by designing like my own special touch like branding touch to the packaging uh, the packaging labels even though they will just be black and white but I think I can definitely do something that will go with my brand but I'm very happy with the quality of the printer even though I've got this second hand off of eBay guys you really do not have to spend a lot of money on equipment this is why we have platforms such as eBay where you can get things second hand Munbin is very great but it's quite pricey for me right now as I'm just starting off um, I don't want to spend too much money on equipment because I don't know where my products you know are gonna go or how uh, successful my business is gonna be obviously I hope for the best I always hope for the best but for now I would say this is fine for me so yes let's try the 4x6 so these are 4x6 labels and it's not the Monbin brand but it should definitely do the job so let's give it a go so I have printed oh, the different well I've tried <laughs> With a few attempts to print out the design that I wanted and it was a bit of a struggle not to say that it's the printer's fault it was definitely mine the reason why it didn't print well like for example this one it printed on two labels uh, was because I didn't size it correctly in the printer settings so that's why I got this but in the end I got there it needed a few trials and errors before I finally understood how to print it properly. Hey guys, I am back with a little vlog. Um, so today I want to show you how I will apply these protective corners to the, the notebook. They have finally arrived and if you've seen my previous vlog if you haven't i've linked it in the video at the end uh, you can you can have a look at how i made the notebooks so i did mention that i will add these uh, safety corners to the notebooks i already did one um i kind of had to test it out it came out a bit wonky because I pressed it too hard. I've used um, these pliers to apply pressure and close it because if you can see, I don't know if it's going to focus. Oh, there it is. It's a bit open. So I think you need to press it down. And the only way to do this is probably with pliers. I would definitely recommend adding pressure but not too much. Otherwise, you end up having this i don't know if you can see but it's not really attractive <laughs> i 
I'm going to do another one. This pack, by the way, has a hundred pieces and you have four corners. So divide it by four, you probably have like about 25 books or notebooks or whichever books that you are making to apply it to. Excuse my baby, he's on my back at the moment and I think he he's getting a bit annoyed but um, I'm going to try and do this. <laughs> I'm going to try and do this um, very swiftly so that I can attend to him. So yes, we're going to do this together so you guys can see how I've done it. I'm just going to do two or maybe I may do all of it but yeah let's do this Okay, so I have tried to do it again. I think I may need to do a little bit more research on the best way to do this because though it's it's on the notebook, I think there's a better method to do it. So I'm gonna do more research to see which way is the best. A few moments later. <laughs> Hey guys, so something really excited came through the post. I've been waiting for these and they finally arrived. And they are my thank you cards. I am so happy the way they came out. And this is definitely going to motivate me to continue on my journey on opening my own website but what do you guys think I'm going to show you the back as well I'm going to have to cover so you get a 15% discount on my website when you order and um, yeah I wanted it to be something related to my color palette which is like a mustardy yellow and earth tones like to go with gold and it says thank you babe you the best because you are the best <laughs> and I'm just super excited and what I'm gonna do is as well I love rounded corners I wanted to get rounded corners done by the manufacturer but it was way more expensive so I will do it myself I'm gonna show you guys I really think it looks cute it just yeah finished it finished her look I love it also in my previous vlog I showed you um, how I used the foiling pen so it says here thank you and then your name will be put on there oh excuse my nails i need to clip them um so your name will be put on there with the gold foil and i'm just super excited i'm gonna probably do one so you can see super happy with the results of my thank you card and because i wanted to create something that you can also keep 
something hopefully that you like to put on your wall or as a keepsake because of you know yeah <laughs> I ordered uh, 250 of them because I don't know how well my cells will go hopefully I will have uh, a good amount of cells which means that you guys like what I'm doing so yeah and it also has a really nice finish to it like a sheen finish to it it's matte but yeah So the pen has heated up. I'm gonna try my first attempt. I mean, it worked. <laughs> it definitely worked. and it looks lush but I probably need to tape it down so that it doesn't move like it did but it definitely worked and I guess it doesn't have to be perfect it's kind of like a signature I mean if I was to get something from an artist and they personally wrote down my name whichever way it comes out I will still really appreciate it if you get what I mean you know so yeah I really like it I like the way it came out and it gives it a really special touch instead of just using an ordinary pen but let me know what you guys think in the comments today's gonna be a very busy day I'm gonna be printing stickers making uh, uh, bookmarks and moving forward i want to thank all my new subscribers that have recently subscribed to my channel Mwah. welcome to the family i truly truly am shocked surprised to see how well my first vlog went and I've always had this um, imposter syndrome, that's the word, imposter syndrome where I just feel like I'm not good enough, like why should people subscribe to my channel, why, you know, why should people buy my products and will my blogs even be good enough and I'm sure that you can resonate to what I'm thinking. The only thing I could tell you guys is just take that leap of faith because in the end you'll really be surprised to see how well you'll be doing, how well you're doing and how appreciative people actually are um, with whatever it is that you, you're passionate about. I really hope that you guys will like this vlog as much as you did the first one. I am still new to this, but please suggest any topics and, you know, any ideas that you or, you know, anything that you'd like to see in my vlogs because I'm still learning and uh, you know two heads are better than one so if you have any suggestions and if I feel if I think that I can um, execute them I will definitely do it so yeah hopefully you guys will enjoy this vlog it's really muggy here in London I'm sure I'd, actually I never mentioned I'm an illustrator from the United Kingdom and precisely in London and um, yeah the weather over here is literally having four seasons in one day literally I'm not even exaggerating it's currently pouring down but at the same time it's really hot so yeah but we're used to this we use this weather and yeah enjoy the vlog
So I'm just questioning myself, why is it not registering? Then I realised that the square has to be at the top over there. <sighs> Silly me. Let's try again. mistake that I made was um, not creating an offset which means um, having a border um, around the sticker so because of that mistake I now end up with a sticker design I mean a character design who doesn't have all her designs I mean the earrings were cut separately as well so I mean it's not that bad <laughs> let me not speak too fast okay this one didn't make it I don't think this one didn't make it so I end up with these um let's see the rest Oh lord, it's not that bad. <clears throat> I just have a different design, did it? It didn't, did it? No, it didn't. I think she's still cute. So I'll probably have these as seconds like an oopsie sticker but yes I'm just um, repairing the design so I've gone back into Silhouette uh, Studio and modified my mistake oh dear I mean she don't look that bad does she? so I'm just gonna go back into Problem solved. So, as you can see from here, I now have the correct um, offset file and it's now ready to print and be cut. Yay! For those who are already subscribed to my channel, you've probably heard me talk about eBay so much. I've got this cut cutting mat from eBay as well and this is the first time I've used it. I've tried it out and it's really good. I like it. The only thing is though you have to really align it properly. If you don't, um, your silhouette machine is not going to read the marks it's really good and also what the difference with this one is it's it's like at least a, a millimeter thicker than the original cutting mat and it sticks better it's not very strong so you know when you have to use the cutting mat for the first time it 
has like a really sticky surface this one doesn't and i got a, th a three pack for about 10 pounds which is much much cheaper than just getting one for i think it's like 15 or 20 pounds i'm gonna put the link below for the ones that i um the company that i've got it from so you guys can try it out for yourselves but yeah finally got to print the stickers and like i showed you this is the result and i really like it this is also a new design that i've just recently come out i really don't know how many characters i'm gonna make because i got a bit carried away and i have tons of these <coughs> characters bless you darling and my son just woke up and yeah so i'm still um trying to figure out what i'm gonna include in this new collection okay um yeah so before i peel off the rest of the stickers i'm going to show you the difference between the holographic and the plain one i did like a tally or like a pull on my youtube channel and people suggested that even though it's really nice like a uh, you know shimmery effect it takes away from the design and i totally i totally agree with you i have been watching so many like vlogs where they use holographic prints um stickers and i was like oh that could be really nice on my designs but when i tried it out it looks really nice but it does take away from my design and that's what I don't want. So I'm going to stick with the plain one. I probably will get vinyl, like clear vinyl, to go on top of it to basically sustain my stickers to keep them more durable, to make them more durable. Thank you guys for the input and to let me know which one you preferred. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so these are going to be oopsies. Um... I'll just put these in like an oopsie bag and people can probably buy them if they like online. So I'm going to have like a collection of oopsies or I just put them in as a freebie. I don't know. I'll think about it, but they didn't come out as bad as I thought. They're still usable. But the fun part now. Yes. Cleaning off the stickers! Yay! In the bag, I'm gonna put another batch and then um, whilst it's printing, I'm feeding my son. Just to quickly show you, so the, I don't know, I forgot what these are called, but you have to make sure that it's right at the edge. So this side, so the top side of your, your design has to be right at the edge, but then the other side where the square is will overlap the other line. I don't know if you can see. But it will overlap basically on the other line um but that's how i printed it and it came out okay
this came out really well I don't know if I want to print both sides because my printer is really slow and that it looks really nice I'm gonna have to think about it but I may actually do this is so difficult because my printer is so slow in printing good quality but it's really really slow and I mean maybe for now I can actually because I don't really have that many orders but yeah what do you guys think should I do double sided or just a single side I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope that you liked what I posted today. Like I said, if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see more of in my vlogs, please do let me know in the comments because I really do not want to bore you guys. And I just want to make it, you know, something to look forward to every time I post something that you, at least you get something that is you know inspiring and you know motivating for you as well so let me know and for all you newcomers welcome to my channel i truly truly appreciate all of you every single one of you because without you guys this channel wouldn't have been growing so i really appreciate you being here and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe it will help my channel to grow and together we can build a nice lovely community as the channel is growing hopefully in the near future i can start a patreon where i can share more behind the scenes and some you know some secrets that you may find useful as well and yeah apart from that i would want to wish you all a very lovely day evening or night wherever you are in the world and I love you Mwah. bye